Hmm. Interesting. No obvious features that would point Marlos to any class. Uh, let's see. Uh, we do have a multi-attack. Three attacks. One with the snake hair, two with iron fang. Okay. Uh, aha. An armor class of 15, which is natural armor. Hmm. That would knock it down to either a monk or a barbarian. Hmm. On second thought, that wisdom is pretty low. So who is that dexterity? That leaves us with barbarian. Well, I guess we're going with the original setup then. V, roll the intro! Greetings, my dear viewers. It is I, Drehan, and welcome back to Dungeons & Dragons Character Conversion, where we take a look at characters from all over the internet and all over fiction, and convert them into a playable character for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. We are once again continuing with the theme of the villains of the Princes of the Apocalypse adventure. Today is the cult leader of the cult of Black Earth, Marlos. Now you're probably thinking, Drehan, isn't Marlos a Medusa? Why yes, yes he is. Which is kind of strange since Medusa are stereotypically all female, with some rare instances such as Marlos. But we'll get into Marlos's race in just a moment. We're going to start things off with the point by system for our stats, which I forgot to put in this slide for some reason, but here are the exact stats. We have strength at a 14, dexterity at a 10, constitution at a 15, intelligence and wisdom both at 9, and charisma at a 14. Now for that race. Now, if you are a veteran of this channel, first off, hello. Glad that you stayed with us this long. But if you are a veteran, then you probably know of my build for Vraska, the Medusa Planeswalker. And you probably already know what supplement we'll be using for today's build. And that is the Uncaged series, more specifically, Volume Four. This gives us access to the Medusa race. Thanks to Tasha's, we now have the ability to increase three different stats by one. So we'll go ahead and do Strength, Constitution, and Charisma each by one. We also get a Speed of 30 feet, Dog Vision of 60 feet, a Skill Proficiency of choice. We'll just go for Investigation for Simplicity. Languages in Common and Sylvan. We have Petrifying Gaze. This has a save DC of 8, plus your proficiency bonus, plus your constitution modifier. From levels 1 to 6, it will not petrify, it'll just paralyze. But once you get to level 7 and above, then your gaze has the ability to petrify your foes. So pretty neat. And then we have Snake Hair. Now, I haven't read the Uncaged book recently, so I cannot remember exactly what Snake Hair does. I can't remember if it is a bonus action or if it is your action action. I want to say it's your bonus action, though, because that makes the most sense. You'll have to go read the book yourself just to figure that out. Or, you know, maybe I said something in the Vraska video. Check that out after this video, because you don't want to miss anything. For our background, Marlos was a human noble before he was cursed into being a Gorgon. Or Medusa. So, the background noble will be our best bet. We get proficiencies in the skills history and persuasion, 
a gaming set of your choice for your tools and languages. It looks like I forgot something there. Hold on. Oops. That is supposed to be Terran. All right, there we go, all fixed. So anyway, Terran is the language that you'll get. You also get the feature position of privilege. Now, why did Marlos become a Medusa? Well, he became a Medusa when he found this ring. Now, to note, Marlos was obsessed with his own beauty. He even had his guests wear hideous masks, so he would be the only beautiful person in the room. And when he found this ring and put it on, he noticed that all of his blemishes faded away. This ring had the vitality of a fae. So keep that in mind for this build. Let's go ahead and move on to class. We get a Barbarian class to start things off. This is only because of the Unarmored Defense feature, which is 10 plus your Dexterity plus your Constitution modifier. But it is still a pretty good class to pick. You get a starting hit points of 12 plus your Constitution modifier. You get proficiencies in Light Armor, Medium Armor, Shields, Simple Weapons, Martial Weapons, Strength and Constitution Saving Throws, and the skills Nature and Survival. And you also have that awesome Rage feature. We're going to go ahead and go straight into a multi-class of Warlock. Marlos does indeed have a pact with a genie. And this is because of the Forge. Now, I can't remember if the genie works in a forge or if Marlos is able to access the forge that the genie owns, but it has something to do with forging weapons for the Cult of the Black Earth. Now, this genie, of course, is a Deo. So you get the expanded spell list that comes with the Deo. You also get Genie's Vessel. Bottled Respite, and Genie's Wrath. You also get Packed Magic, which uses your Charisma modifier. Barbarian Level 2 gets Reckless Attack and Danger Sense. Level 2 Warlock get Eldritch Invocations. Devil Sight and Rebuke of the Talisman will be your best bet. Now, Rebuke of the Talisman is only accessible if you have the Pact of the Talisman Pact boon, which is what we're getting at third level Warlock. Now remember when I said that the ring Marlos put on had the vitality of a fey? Well, that ring also is what cursed Marlos into becoming a Medusa. <coughs> so, it only makes sense that we have a fey themed barbarian path. Primal path, Path of Wild Magic. This will give us the features Magic Awareness and Wild Surge, which has a save DC of 8 plus proficiency bonus plus your constitution modifier in case any of your targets need a save DC. Moving on to level 4 Barbarian, go ahead and increase your constitution by 2. Level 5 Barbarians get an extra attack. Level 6 Barbarians of the Path of Wild Magic get Bolstering Magic. Level 7 Barbarians get Feral Instinct. Level 8 Barbarians get an Ability Score Improvement. Go ahead and increase your Strength and your Charisma each by one. Barbarians at level 9 get Brutal Critical. Level 10 Barbarians of the Wild Magic Path get Unstable Backlash. Level 11 Barbarians get Relentless Rage. Level 12 Barbarians get another Ability Score Improvement. For this one, go ahead and increase Intelligence and Wisdom each by one. Level 13 Barbarians get another die for their Brutal Critical Feature. Level 14 Barbarians get Controlled Surge from Path of Wild Magic. 
Level 15 Barbarians get Persistent Rage. Level 16 Barbarians gets an Ability Score Improvement. Go ahead and increase your Dexterity by 2. And finally, to end this build, Level 4 Warlock. Increase your Strength by 2 for your Ability Score Improvement. That might be the end of the build, but not the end of the video, my dear viewers. Because we have Warlock levels, we do have access to some spells. Not that many spells, so here is what I thought would be best. For your recommended spells, I would recommend the Cantrip's Booming Blade, Sword Burst, and Toll the Dead. For your first level spells, Armor of Agathis, Charm Person, and Hex. For your second level spells, I would recommend Darkness and Earth Bind. And with that, that is the end of this video. I do hope that you enjoyed. Tune in Thursday for the final cultist of elemental evil, Vanathur. Until then, this has been Drehan, and I am offline.